Hey guys, it's Mo, and today we're going to be practicing a few tricks that you can use to impress your friends. First thing you're going to need to know about learning new tricks is to practice. We're going to start off nice and easy and progress to more difficult tricks along the way. That's enough for the lecturing, let's get down to business. First thing we're going to learn is the basic flick up. Let's have a look at what it looks like. As you can see, it's not a difficult trick to learn, but there's a few simple steps to learn the trick. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll the ball back towards your standing foot, and you're gonna wanna flick it up in a, like a hop motion, so you're dragging your weight onto your other foot. You wanna make sure that you gotta point your toes up as well, so that it comes straight up rather than going forward. So this is what it looks like without the ball. As you can see, you're going to want to transfer the weight from your right leg to your left leg so you can flick it up. You're going to have to make sure that you're always watching the ball. Your body movements will become second nature. The flick up is a good start to learn more advanced tricks. The next thing to do to make it a more advanced trick is to put an around the world in it as a combo. The first thing you need to do for that is to practice the around the world. Now this is what an around the world looks like. It does look quite difficult, but it's actually not as hard as it seems. The main thing people think about the around the world is that they think you've got to hit it up and then go around, but you've got to make sure you put the spin on it. In order to put spin on the ball, you need to cut across it slightly. Now we're going to be adding both those moves together. As you've learnt from the first trick, you need to be able to switch foot. And once you switch to your left foot and you'll put all your weight on that side, you need to go straight onto the around the world motion. So once you've completed the flick up and go into the around the world motion, you've got to remember that you're cutting across it so you can go into the around the world motion straight from when your left foot is placed on the floor. One thing that you've got to remember is you've got to keep the ball height the same throughout both the tricks. I would say around here for the flick up and same with the around the world. Now that I've showed you these tricks, you can go outside and practice them and show them in front of your mates. But remember the key things that we discussed. Like what you've seen and want to see more? Remember to like, comment and subscribe on the ProDirect Soccer YouTube channel. See ya.